You guys have been doing this for a number of years now. How do you keep the magic alive? <laughs> I feel like to mix it up with the <laughs> pandemic every once in a while. You gotta, yeah. yeah. You, gotta, you gotta schedule a date night yeah. every so often, rediscover each other. And you know, honest communication is really, is really what it's about. So That's actually true. Honest communication. Yeah. Yeah. We actually do. Like, we have uh, every week, almost every week, we have the management call and their staff call, and that, yeah, it's constantly evolving. And we have a lot of uh, regular business meetings, but there are also meetings that we have that are emotional and about our relationships. I mean, it's like... <laughs> well, just, just about this one. Oh, cool. yeah. oh, well, I didn't want to cut anyone off, but... Uh... Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the process. You're seeing it. You're seeing it. Um, a, a, friend, a friend of mine who is also involved in a small business years ago recommended this book called The Partnership Charter, um, which is not about... Uh, <laughs> Partnerships that charter cruise ships, um, but it's about it's about a document that that partner partnerships are notoriously fragile and and often in uh, litigation, um, and this is about a kind of process. Of, it's a like sort of corporate process where everyone writes down their feelings and their needs in a structured way. So not only do we have a fifty-page memo that we send to the ship, we have a fifty-page feelings memo that we send an update to each other on an annual basis. We did a Myers-Briggs to, to, to do our corporate, well, it's not really corporate, but the partnership chart. Yeah. But we, I mean, we marvel about this regularly. I mean, we, you know, we still genuinely get excited about this event every single year. I don't think we, I mean, we, we could still do it. I don't know if we would want to still do it if we lost that excitement, but we marvel regularly at how well we all get along I mean, we certainly have disagreements. Sometimes they are heated. I don't believe we've ever had any genuine fights in 10 years, 11 years of cruises. Uh, and everyone sort of naturally fell into certain slots of, of the different uh, partnership jobs. And it's worked great for us. So we wish we could have some magic formula for it beyond just we, we to genuinely try to stay open and honest with each other and say things that, you know, not hold back feelings that we are feeling when we have disagreements or feel wrong. And, and moreover, the, this, this event is really important to us and we love it. And, and we, we draw a lot of uh, energy and satisfaction from, from doing it, from putting it together, from having fun, from coming up with like dumb things that we could do with this cruise ship that is our toy. And, um, <laughs> and uh, you know, just watching it develop over the years. I mean, it's a really rewarding thing for us, uh, and so it makes all the rest of it worth it. it people, to feel fresh. People ask us throughout the week, like, how are you doing? And yeah, of course we're tired, they're long days and it's a long week, but it is so fulfilling <laughs> just walking around. I, I spend numerous hours just walking around the ship, seeing people have a good time, and then just think like, wow, we put this together, we let people, we make this happen for people, and that's it feels great to be able to do that, because not everybody can. And every year it's, it's the same thing. Like it's lists and, and busy and all of that. And it's all that first day when you see people on the ship yeah. that it comes alive. And yeah, it's, it's kind of a business. It's kind of an art project. There are, I think this year Paul has been fed spiritually by the elevator rugs. <laughs> and, and we spend an inordinate amount of time writing and choosing the elevator rugs. And, and there is something, there is something kind of fun. I mean, there's like a three-page section of one document that is just the elevator rug changing schedule. Oh yeah, and there's a precision. Yeah, there's an elevator rug like cleaning can plan, packing plan. They have skews. And they're not cheap. <laughs> and we will tell you because you're here first, but there will be another new set of elevator rugs for 2023. So. <laughs>